pairs. Today, before we get started, I want to show you one that I wrote about market basket. I didn't color it in, but I thought I could show it to you as an example of what it might look like if you're writing about a place. Writing about a place might be a little bit different than writing about a thing. So I thought I'd make two examples to show you. This one's called Market Basket. And I drew Market Basket from the outside and the inside. And I put by Alexa. That's my name when I'm at Miss Minion. I added a table of contents. We'll learn how to do that later this week. I drew the deli. I drew a picture with labels. I wrote, you get a number. You tell the person what you want. Then I did a section about the candy section. Candy. I labeled it. And I put, you put different candies in the bag. And then I made a section about the cashier. I did labels, computer, chips, cart. And I wrote, you put the food on the belt. You have to pay for the food. You can keep that in mind as you're working on yours. Now let's go back to the one I'm writing. All About Tacos by Miss Minion. Today I want to teach you that nonfiction authors can use the picture to teach the reader what they know. So I know about taco shells. I know about the soft ones that have the little brown spots made of flour. And I know about the hard, crispy ones that are a little bit yellow and are crunchy. I'm going to teach the reader about that. I'm going to teach them through my drawings. So let's see. I'm going to draw a soft shell that kind of looks like this. And it has little spots. It's usually like tan with little brown spots. And I'm going to label it soft. Uh, 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 octopus, soft f fish, soft t -t 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 turtle, soft. And then I'm going to draw hard shells. Hard shells usually look like this. They're already folded. Notice how I'm using lines and oval shapes. And they have like really tiny little dots. They're not as big as the other dots. And I'm going to write hard shells. H hat. H R R R R ring. Hard d d d d d d dog. Hard shells. Now I should color them. I should color them exactly the way they are in real life. Remember, it's really important that you teach your reader. So if my reader is learning from me and I color the shell blue, they're going to learn the wrong information. I have to teach them the right information. So soft taco shells are kind of like this peachy color. Kind of like a per one of the people colors we have. Say, good job, Miss Minion. You drew a picture. You used real colors. You added labels. And you taught your reader real information that you know. Your job today is to draw a picture with labels. Don't worry about the words yet. We're going to talk about adding some words tomorrow. Happy writing. Pause now to do your writing homework. Pausa ahora para hacer tu tarea de escritura. Add a picture to the first page of your book. Remember to use real life colors and labels to teach people who read your book what you know. Agregue una imagen a la primera página de su libro. Recuerda 
y usar colores y etiquetas de la vida real para enseñar a las personas que leen tu libro lo que sabes.